In the last film, we were looking at how to calculate the molar concentration of different solutions. In this film, we're going to see how solutions can also be measured as a percentage concentration. This is usually more straightforward and a bit easier to calculate. So a percentage solution can be given for a liquid in the diluent or for a substrate that has been put into a solute. And if we are putting a liquid into another liquid, we see the percentage expressed as volume per volume. So it's two volumes because they're both liquid. And if it's a percentage solution of a substrate in a solute, it is expressed as weight per volume because it's something that we've measured a dry weight of and put into a liquid here. So for each of these two here, if I was to make a liquid in a diluent here, a volume for volume, say for example, I wanted a 5% solution of gel loading dye, that's two volumes, that is five mils in a total volume of 100 mils. That's why it's a percentage, five mils in a hundred. Now the volume doesn't really matter as long as the percentage stays the same. It could also have been five microliters in a total volume of a hundred microliters. So that would have been 95 microliters added. And the same can be done for dry substrates as well. If I'd wanted a 5% solution of tris, and that is weight for volume, it would have been five grams of tris in a total volume of 100 mils. So you would weigh in the five grams of your substrate and then top the volume up with um, your solute to 100 mils. And again, the volume here could have been scaled down. It could equally have been 0 0.5 grams in a final volume of 10 mils. It's still expressed as a percentage of the final volume. So here are some questions for you to look at to calculate the percentage of the solutions here. Uh, so pause the film and have a go at working through them and then look at the worked answers. So the first question asks, how would you make up 250 mils of 70% ethanol? 70% ethanol is 70 mils of ethanol in a final volume of 100 mil. And I want 250 mil, so I need to scale this up by a factor of 2.5. So 70 times 2.5 equals 175 mils of ethanol made up to a final volume of 250 mils. So 250 minus 175 is 75. In question two, we've got two parts here, two different salt solutions. One of them is 0.3% salt we've been asked to make up, and the other one is 3% salt, wait for volume, and both of them in a final volume of 20 mils. Well, a 0.3% solution would be 0.3 grams of sodium chloride in 100 mils. But I only want 20 mils, so I'm scaling this down by a factor of 5, dividing my 100 by a 5 to gives me 20 mils. So I need to divide 0.3 grams divided by 5, which equals 0.06 grams made up to 20 mils in water. For the 3% solution, that's 3 grams in 100 mils. So to give me 20 mils, it's 3 grams divided by 5, which equals 0 0.6, made up to 20 mils. And we can check our answer there because the 0.3% and the 3% saline there's a tenfold difference in the percentage solutions and there's a tenfold difference there in the amount of salt that went into the solutions. So that makes sense. 
In the last question, we have to pay attention here to the scale of the volume that we're looking at. It's 200 microliters that we're making of a 10% volume for volume glycerol solution. Well, a 10% glycerol solution, if we were to calculate it for 100 microliters to make that easy, that is going to be 10 microliters of glycerol in a final volume of 100 microliters. So to make 200 microliters, we just double that up, 20 microliters of glycerol in a final volume of 200 microliters. So we would have added 180 microliters of water. In the next film, we're going to be looking at how we make dilutions from these solutions that we've been making as either molar concentration or percentage concentration.